What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the ATEC multi-function tool, which is something I bought for $10 on sale. It was normally $30 bucks on Amazon and it was 75% off, so I got one of them, but I, now after I ordered it, I realized I should have bought like five. I checked just now and it's back up to $40 per tool. And um, this is by far the best multi-tool I've ever used for ten dollars or even forty dollars fifty dollars like this is insane um this is made by atec which they make some multi-function pens and other random things but uh this is made in china and yeah i'm just gonna get right into it comes in this box you got a little pouch and then the uh, instructions are says what all the features are no tool um i just weighed it it actually weighs 8.9 ounces so it's a little bit heavier than the wave um size comparison this is the wave and this is the surge so it's kind of in between definitely would say it's close to the wave um it uses just normal torques, no security bits. Um, so there's four outside opening implements, which are all locking and one hand opening. You have the knife blade, uh, which is pretty sharp. It's not the same, but you know, decent from the factory. Plus it's not gonna be super steel, so you could sharpen it up really quickly. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the steel is. Probably like 440, somewhere around there, 440 stainless steel. Um, then you have the uh, saw, which I haven't tested. And then you have the file, which I'm not sure how good this would be. It doesn't feel very abrasive. There's just like this side was just lines going up and down. Then you have like the cross cut side. Um, and it looks like this is actually slanted a bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, right there. So maybe you can do, I wouldn't pry with it, but it's, it's interesting. It's not. It, it stops right before that edge. Maybe you can use it as a screwdriver if you want you to. Uh, let's say yes, flathead screwdriver. There's a few flatheads on here, and now it's the most impressive part of the tool, um, which is the scissors. So these are like surge style scissors. Um, to compare, they are. Roughly the same size, a little bit different in design. Um, they have like this blunt note, like tip here. I don't know. I don't know why it looks like that, but these perform extremely well. Um, this is some 550 cord. It just zips right through it. It's crazy. Like I, these are the best scissors I've seen on the multi at this price. Like. Better than any Leatherman scissors that's not the Surge scissors, like, by far. Actually insane. Um, they can cut some fabric, too. Have some fabric here. Very easily. Um, so, that is, that right there is, I mean, that's just super impressive. Um, this multi-tool, it is, it's kind of like it, uh, some Chinese, like, tool that keeps being remade under different brands so on youtube there's it's previously been seen as a split man multi-tool which was like i think it wasn't super expensive maybe 20 dollars or so i'm not sure i don't remember but um upon seeing that video uh max level edc he posted when this was 10 bucks and he said he thinks it's the same tool and that video the tool performed really really well so i got one and yeah it's pretty much the same one it does have spring-loaded pliers, which means it could be more likely to fail if you like spring-loaded pliers, though. That's cool. I'm used to not having a spring anymore because all my Leathermans don't have a spring. Um, it actually even has replaceable wire cutters. I'm not sure. I don't think these are 154cm or anything, but that's a nice touch. Um, I don't really know how their customer service would be, though, so or warranty or whatever, but yeah. These three tools, kind of hard to get out. Um, all the inner tools are also locking. You have uh, this kind of like 
cord cutter thing? Let's see, what do they call it? Uh, box cutter. Okay, so can I try to cut some paracord with this? It's not that super sharp, but maybe you could open clamshell packaging or cut tape with it. And then you have this bottle opener, flathead, and then the can opener and another smaller screwdriver. And then this side you have uh, 3D Phillips and an awl, which all is pretty sharp as well. I tried that out um, on some plastic here. But uh, yeah, and Maxwell EDC also told me that the Leatherman tools can actually fit perfectly in here. So you can put the Leatherman bit driver if you want, you can put, um, you know, anything. So it's very cool. And these are, you know, they're not, they're kind of, I guess they're needle nose. They're not a super, super fine tip, but I mean, you gotta think about the price you're paying. It's, it's actually incredible how good this tool is for the price. So it is not $10 anymore. Maybe it'll go on sale later. I saw another tool that it wasn't the exact same, but it was a similar style and it had a little bit less influence, but also had a pocket clip. So I think it's kind of like a slimmed down version of that. Uh, for around twenty six dollars, so I'm waiting to see uh, Max Help EDC's video on that. But uh, yeah, even at forty dollars, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good buy. But definitely a steal at ten dollars or thirty dollars, ten dollars for sure. So I will leave the link to the tool. It's currently at forty bucks right now, but it's still really, really good. So thank you for watching.